In this video, we're going to take a look at graphs of trigonometric functions. So the trigonometric functions that we're looking at in this video are the three most basic. So we're taking a look at the graphs of sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, hopefully you saw these in GCSE maths, but if you didn't, or you can't remember them, then no worries. So I've got one on the screen here already. Hopefully you recognize this, but if you don't, what I've got here is a graph of y equals sine x. Okay, so this is a graph of y equals sine x. And there's a few things we can mention here about this graph. So the first thing to mention is it repeats every 360 degrees. And we can see that again from our diagram. And it crosses the x-axis at a number of different points. So, for example, it crosses here at minus 180. So that's minus 180 degrees. It crosses here at zero. It crosses here at 180 degrees, 360 degrees, and so on. Okay. It also has a maximum value of 1 and a minimum value of minus 1. So we can see our maximum here, and that extends here for negative values. So that's when we have a height of 1. And we also have a minimum value of minus 1. Again, if we just extend along here, we can see that. So a little bit messy here, but I've got a point here, point here, point here, and point here. And same again for the maximum, point here point here, another point here, and finally one here. So what we're saying here is sine x is equal to 1. And this occurs when x is equal to, say, 90 degrees. Like we can see here. So this is 90 degrees. And that gives us a height of 1 there. Um, we've also got when x is 450 degrees. So the next is 450 degrees, so that would be um, here, sorry, this point here, so that's 450 degrees. And again, if we just go up from here, we can see that we have that maximum value there of 1. And we have the same here for the minimum value, so that would be when sine x is equal, so sine x is equal to minus 1. Then that would be when x is equal to minus 90 degrees. Like we can see here, so that's minus 90. And we'd extend this down and we can see we've got our minimum here and so on. Okay, so that gives us a sketch of um, y equals sine x. So let's take a look now at y equals cos x. So this is a graph of y equals cos x. And notice that it looks very, very familiar, uh, very, very similar, I should say, to y equals sine x. Okay, and again, just like we saw with y equals sine x, y equals cos x repeats every 360 degrees. And this too also crosses the x-axis at a number of different points. So we've got minus 90 here, that's minus 90 degrees. Um, we've got 90 degrees here. We've got 270 and so on. Okay, so like you see, there's a number of different points where it crosses through the x-axis. And again, just like we saw with y equals sine x, it also has a minimum, oh, uh, sorry, a maximum at one. Like we can see here and here. And then here and here again. And it also has a minimum at minus one again, just like we saw with y equals sine x. So they are very, very similar. And if you struggle to remember which one is y equals sine x and which is y equals cos x, the way I like to remember is generally if you just see a basic sketch like this, y equals cos x begins at one. Okay, whereas a minimum uh, a beginning height of one. Okay. So cos x here is equal to one. So this would give us our maximum. And this occurs when x is equal to 0 degrees. So that's what we were just mentioning before. Um, that's our initial height there. And 360 degrees. Okay, if you were to go along to 360 degrees and go up, notice again we have that maximum there. And we can repeat that for the minimum value. So cos x is equal to minus 1. And that occurs when x is equal to minus 180. 180 degrees, 180 degrees, 540 degrees, and so on. Okay, so if we just sketch those on here, I'd have 180 here, that's 180 degrees. I'd have my minus 180 here, I'd have 540 here, and so on. Okay, but like we said, that's a sketch of y equals cos x. And let's move on to the very last function here now, and this is probably the funniest looking of the three 
And we can see the shape of this function here. So this is y equals tan x. And like we said, like we said here, the shape is completely different to what we've just seen with y equals cos x and y equals sin x. So the other two trig functions repeated every 360 degrees. Tan x repeats every 180 degrees. Okay, so let's just note that here because it's slightly different. Repeats every 180 degrees. So that's the first thing to mention. And again, just like we saw with the other two functions, it crosses the x-axis at a number of different points. So it crosses at, say, um, minus 180 here, like we can see. It crosses at zero here, the origin, um, 108 degrees, 360, and so on. Okay, so a number of different points where it crosses through the x-axis. For tan x, so we saw with sin x and cos x that we had a maximum and a minimum value. That isn't true for tan x. Okay, so we don't have a minimum or maximum value for y equals tan x. So let's just note that here. So no max or min value. That's important to note. And what is also different with y equals tan x here is that we actually have some vertical asymptotes. And hopefully you can notice that we've got these here with these dotted lines. And there are x equals minus 90. So that's the first one here, x equals minus 90 degrees. We have another one at x equals 90 degrees. We have another one here at x equals 270 degrees and so on. Okay. X equals 270 degrees. And there we have it. So that's a sketch of y equals tan x. And that brings us to the end of this video on graphs of trigonometric functions.